Yo, what's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and in this video I'm doing a highly requested video from a lot of people. I'm going to be talking about the differences between a 12 GPU frame right here and an 8 GPU frame right here. Uh, so just to give you some information, I've used the 8 GPU frame for about a year. I probably used the 12 GPU frame since last year of November. Um, and I'll give you some information what I think about it. We'll give you some pros and cons. I'll try to make this video as short as possible. So that way you can get your information and you can make your decision from there. Um, so we'll just start off with the 12 GPU frame, man. Uh, so the 12 GPU frame, uh, we'll talk about the pros first. Uh, pretty much, you can put 12 GPUs on it, obviously, right? That's a big advantage over an 8 GPU frame. You can fill it up with 12. Uh, you can make your rig more spacious if you're not using 12. Uh, which is my preferred method. You can obviously sp put out six or eight and you can have them spaced out. You can have them spaced out like one, one GPU here, one GPU here, one GPU here, one GPU here. And that way you have a lot more, uh, you know, space and it's easier to, you know, cool your rigs down, obviously. And, uh, you know, it's a lot easier to do cable management as well. Uh, another pro is you can fit dual ATX PSUs here. Um, you can fit two dual server PSUs here, right? And we'll get into why you can't do it over here on the HEPU frame later, but you can obviously fit those du two dual PSUs. And uh, you can actually stack these frames if you have like the 3D printed bracket or you purchase those brackets somewhere. So you can actually stack these frames as well uh, if that's something you're into. And this frame, in, this frame in general is just really good for bigger cards, like thicker cards, like 3080s, 3090s. Um, there's a lot, like I said, a lot more spacious and it's better for those cards as well. Um, and yeah, those are pretty much my pros. Uh, we'll talk about some of the cons right now. So some of the cons is that this is probably a little bit more expensive than the AGPU frame. Uh, you know, we're looking at about $120 Canadian to $130 Canadian versus you know 50 to 70 dollars canadian for this 8 gpu frame right and uh depending another con uh, depending on the gpus that you have you can have serious heat issues like if you fill this up with gddr6x memory type cards well, you're 100 gonna have heat issues because they're all gonna be crammed together and heat just gonna be spreading all over the place and it's not gonna be good so that's another con and obviously the last con for this frame is that some PCIe cables will not reach to the top, right? So if you're using ATX, not a lot of them have very long cables, so you can't be stretching them out from right here from this ATX. If you put one here to here, you'll have some issues, okay? So those are pretty much the pros and cons of this 12 GPU frame. Let's move on to the 8 GPU frame, and uh, we'll talk about the pros. So uh, the first pro is that it's amazing for smaller GPUs, right? You can put 1660 supers, uh, 3060s, any smaller cards like, you know, uh, slimmer like 3070s. It's perfect for this frame. Um, obviously, you can only fit eight uh, on this frame, so keep that in mind. And uh, it, obviously, it's a smaller frame. It takes up less space. And uh, another pro is that it can be cheap when it's on sale. Like you can get these for 40 to 50 bucks uh, if they are on sale, and that's definitely, definitely a really good price for them. And they're pretty much another a pro is like they're pretty much a good frame uh, for a beginner, right? If you're getting into mining, these are really good frames. They're cheap, they're easy to build, easy to attain, um, and you know it's a great way to start off and just add cards as you go. It's definitely not a bad frame. So now we'll talk about the cons of this 8 GPU frame. The first con is is that you can only fit one ATX PSU on this frame. As you can see, the motherboard would go up here. And then you obviously have your room for your one ATX PSU there. So you can't run two PSUs in this frame. You can, but you'll probably have one sticking out right here and it doesn't look good. <clears throat> so another con is, is obviously this is not stackable. If you're into stacking your frames, you can't do this. Um, there's nowhere to stack them on. Um, another con is that the, the spacing is very poor for larger cards. So if you have 3080s, <clears throat> with the thicker design and the 3090s with the thicker design uh, They they will look really big on this frame and they They're not really good for the spacing of those cards and whatnot. So I would not recommend putting larger cards on here probably smaller ones and uh, Another con is it might be cheaper just to build this from like your own aluminum angle from like home depot or home hardware 
uh, you know, from the store. You know, you can probably build this for like 10 bucks to 15 bucks <laughs> with your own materials, to be honest, if you got the time. And um, another con is that cable management can be tough. It can be ugly um, just because of how this frame is set up. Obviously, it has to be ran back here and um, it can look ugly, right? So those are pretty much the pros and cons of each frame. Um, like I said, both of them are good options. Me personally, I am a big fan of the 12 GPU frames. If you guys watch my videos, if you want to see them uh, in action, you actually watch some of my older videos. Uh, you'll see I transferred all of my GPUs to 12 GPU frames and I prefer them much more. Uh, they look a lot better and they're way better for spacing for me. And, uh, I think they're the better frame, but uh, like I said, it depends on what situation you're in. Uh, the eight GPU frame may make sense for you, right? Uh, it's a little bit cheaper, a little bit easier to attain rather than the 12 GPU frame. So at the end of the day, the choice is up to you. Uh, me personally, I like this frame a lot more. It has less cons and it's overall better for me. But um, yeah, man, hopefully that information helps you guys out in making your decision for the frames. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like the 12 GPU frames or do you like the 8? Uh, let me know. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.